Good morning, everyone. Thank you for starting the day out with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. Right now, you have the opportunity to help prevent your children or your grandchildren from getting cancer in the future. It's as simple as just donating less than an hour of your time, a few teaspoons of blood, and filling out a survey. The research that is being done could lead to history-making results. We're going to tell you how you can do this this morning with the American Cancer Society board member, Chris Tittle. Chris, thank you so much for being on with thank me Thank you for having me. All right, Chris. This almost sounds too good to be true, that people can really help prevent cancer from happening in the future by just donating their time. Absolutely. You know, I'm, I'm in addition to the duties that I have with the American Cancer Society, my main job is working as the spokesman for the Monroe County Health Department. So in public health, we see lots and lots of surveys and statistics. You're always wondering, where did these come from? How did they interview these people? Who did they interview? Was it by phone? Was it in person? This is really a great opportunity for us to see firsthand how that kind of information is gathered and how it is used to prevent things like cancer. Um, it is historic and it is a landmark event and it really allows people the chance to feel like they're part of a solution. Mm -hmm. Now, is anyone eligible for this, Chris? Well, we're, we're really looking for folks between the ages of 30 and 65, men or women between 30 and 65, who have never had cancer. We want to start out with folks who, who haven't had, um, had the disease. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Chris, this is something that you have done in the past, so tell me about it. What was your experience like doing this survey? Jenna, it is so simple. It is so, so simple. Uh, what you do is you'll go to the um, site, the next, uh, the next intake they're going to have of folks is at Mariner's Hospital in the Upper Keys, mile marker 91.5 Bayside. It's going to be on May the 23rd, Thursday, next Thursday, mm -hmm. and it's between 10 and 2. Mm -hmm. um, what you'll do is you'll register in advance, you'll show up at Mariner's Hospital, they will take a waist measurement, they will take um, just a little bit of blood, and then they'll have you fill out a, a survey on lifestyle behaviors. They'll ask you things like um, what kinds of foods you eat, what kind of physical activity do you engage in, engage in do you drink, do you smoke. Um, this is called Cancer Prevention Study 3 because it is the third in a series. The first one they did, uh, I think it was back in the 70s or 80s, and it was really all about the links between tobacco use and cancer. The second one they did, I think it was in the 80s, was really about obesity as it's related to cancer. This one is about general lifestyle. So the questionnaire maybe takes 20 minutes and you, you just, um, like you say, you just tell them what it is that you do as far as your lifestyle, food, exercise, and so forth. Very, very, very simple. And what it does is it enrolls you in the project so that every couple of years um, from here and for like the next 20 years, they will send you a follow-up survey in the mail so you can update them on how your lifestyle may have changed, if your eating habits have changed, if you've quit smoking, if you're drinking less or drinking more. Um, then they can plot over time, if you do develop cancer, they can go back and look at that uh, data and they can maybe, maybe find out where there was a lifestyle change that may have contributed to you getting cancer. Mm -hmm. So this is why it's so, so important. If you can get enough people into the survey, uh, the more people you have in there, the better chance you have of identifying factors in lifestyle that could uh, bring on cancer. And, and of course, once you know what the causes are, then you can start to tackle uh, how, how you prevent it and how you treat it. So it really is history-making results oh, it's, it's from, this, from this research. And Chris, if people want more information on it, they can contact you directly, find out how they can sign up today yes. to help prevent cancer from happening. Absolutely. All right. And next Thursday at the Mariner's Hospital, they can take this survey right there. Chris, That's right. Thank you so much for being on this morning. Thank you so much for having us in the American Cancer Society. Thank you. All right, I'm going to take a quick break right now, but there is much more to come this morning. I'll be talking with musicians Woody Jenkins and Amy Lee, so please stay with me.